February 14th. Thought for the day. After that first drink, we had a single track mind. It was like a railroad train. The first drink started it off and it kept going on the single track until it got to the end of the line, drunkenness. We alcoholics knew this was the inevitable result when we took the first drink, but still we couldn't keep away from liquor. Our willpower was gone. We had become helpless and hopeless before the power of alcohol. It's not the second drink or the tenth drink that does the damage. It's the first drink. Will I ever take that first drink again? Meditation for the day. I must keep time apart with God every day. Gradually I will be transformed mentally and spiritually. It is not the praying so much as just being in God's presence. The strengthening and curative powers of this I cannot understand because such knowledge is beyond human understanding, but I can experience them. The poor, sick world would be cured if every day each soul waited before God for the inspiration to live aright. My greatest spiritual growth occurs in this time apart with God. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may faithfully keep a quiet time apart with God. I pray that I may grow spiritually each day. February 14th, God Calling In my presence You do not realize that you would have broken down under the weight of your cares but for the renewing time with me. It is not what I say, it is I, myself. It is not the hearing me so much as the being in my presence. The strengthening and curative powers of this you cannot know. Such knowledge is beyond your human reckoning. This would cure the poor sick world, if every day, each soul, or group of souls, waited before me. Remember, that you must never fail to keep this time apart with me. Gradually you will be transformed, physically, mentally, spiritually, into my likeness. All who see you, or contact with you will be, by this intercourse with you, brought near to me, and gradually the influence will spread. You are making one spot of earth a holy place, and though you must work and spend yourself ceaselessly because that is for the present your appointed task, yet the greatest work either of you can do, and are doing, is done in this time apart with me. Are you understanding that? Do you know that every thought, every activity, every prayer, every longing of the day is gathered up and offered to me, now? Oh! Joy that I am with you! For this I came to earth to lead man back to spirit converse with his God. 